In our Health Watch report, once someone is infected with HPV, there's been nothing that cleared the infection until now. Local 3's Shelly Bota has more. The HPV virus is linked to several different cancers, including cervical cancer and head and neck cancers. Now a new therapy is wiping out the virus before it becomes life threatening. For Sandy Lalonde, cancer was the last thing she was thinking about in her early 30s until months of irregular periods convinced her to see her doctor for testing. She said, we have bad news. Your high risk HPV test came back positive and we're pretty sure you have cervical cancer. The cancer was stage 2A and had spread. Sandy needed eight rounds of chemo and 25 rounds of external radiation to treat it. Dr. Diane Harper is studying a new therapy that she hopes will wipe out cervical cancer by eliminating the HPV virus that can cause it. Unlike chlamydia or gonorrhea, where you can take an antibiotic and you can get cured, we don't have anything at this time that will get rid of HPV. Researchers enrolled 200 women with precancerous cervical lesions and gave them three injections one week apart. The therapy was a protein that triggered an immune response. It activates the immune system to go in and find the cells that are infected with HPV or the cells that have started to change because of HPV and they attack them. At the end of the six months, between 25 and 33 percent of the participants were cleared of lesions and HPV. I think having the ability to clear the HPV from the body is amazing because just because somebody doesn't develop cancer from HPV doesn't mean that they don't have a whole host of other complications. Dr. Harper says it's important to note that the vaccine researchers are testing is different from Gardasil, the vaccine given to preteens to prevent HPV. The vaccine that is being tested clears tissue that already has HPV. Additional trials are still needed. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botat, Local 3 News.